we have Southern Illinois head coach Kerry Blaylock joined by Jenny Jansen and Maddie Vermijan after game one. We'll start with questions for the players, then after they're done, we'll dismiss them and have an opening statement from the head coach. Uh, you, did you feel like you were able to get runners on most of the day? Just uh, how happy were the offense, you know, for the most part today? We definitely got betters on. I feel like so at, at some points we just didn't have timely hitting that we needed. We definitely got them on with, for majority of the innings in scoring position, but there just wasn't any to, sometimes that big hit that helped us score at the times we needed to be. Jenny, any big day today? Just how, how, uh, how well were you able to see the ball or, or get your shoot? Um, I think that pitcher and I, the, both of those pitchers and I were good matchups because you know I kind of like to hit that inside pitch and you know both of those pitchers lived on the inside corner so for me I saw it well and you know I think we did have a lot of our hitters putting pressure on their defense and sometimes it just doesn't work out the way you want it to. How much was the weather a factor today or just kind of get kind of get past it? I think we're used to that we play in southern Illinois yeah. so you know we play in the valley we play in northern Iowa we you know we do that kind of thing all the time so it's nothing that we haven't done before. But as far as playing in the outfield with the wind? Oh yeah I, it wasn't too bad it was fine. I mean, the balls that got hit out there didn't the, the wind didn't affect him as much as I thought they would. So uh, you go, you go down four nothing, but uh, you guys get it back in the fifth. Did you feel like the the game turned on the on the home run in the sixth uh, for for them? Um, I thought we were still when we when we came back and scored four, we had momentum, and then when that home run was hit, I feel like we didn't really get down on ourselves. We continued to hit the ball and stay strong. It was just again that timely hitting that we didn't get throughout the game. Yeah, I think that home run, it was like the home run. I don't think it was the home run. I think it was the two runs after the home mm -hmm. run that, that kind of knocked us down. Because, you know, we, we fought hard all game. It's just sometimes you get, you know, you get down too much and there's only so much you can do. It's a double elimination regional. Just, to, just how do you kind of try to regroup tomorrow? Definitely come back strong. Our O was working today, so we just got to stick it out on defense, bring that offense back, and just keep fighting. Definitely try and get a win tomorrow. I just think making losing not an option. I think you just have to go out there and act like you're going to win every game. And so if we go out there with that mindset, I don't think we're going to lose. So. Any more questions for Maddie and Jenny? Great. You guys are just. Thank you. Okay. Tell Jeff, don't let the bus leave yet. Okay. okay. Thanks. I have an opening statement from Coach Blaylock and then questions. Yeah, I, I thought that, you know, um, we didn't we didn't pitch very well early. Um, and, you know, that's um, unusual. But like I said, I mean, I, I just don't believe you just start railing on a kid that's your all-time wins leader. You know, it, it was a, a rough start. Um, I thought our offense was fantastic. I thought Jen had them prepared. Um, I thought Jenny Jansen and Maris Bolins and Maddie Vermijan had a phenomenal day today. And, you know, we just didn't throw very well. But like I told them, this is the same team that came back and beat Florida State, and I watched the game. So, you know, it is what it is. And our focus now is winning ball games here and winning tomorrow against whoever that is first and then getting back to, to playing whoever we would see that second game. Did you like what you saw out of Claire as well? I thought Claire did a good job. She kept us in the game, yes. I thought Claire did a good job. Um, you know, this is her first action at this level, and I wanted to get her feet wet, and I thought she did a really good job. Was Bree having an issue with gripping the ball? The no, way? I think the first was uh, she's she's uh, gone back and forth between molded rubber, rubber cleats and spikes because of she had had a bad quad earlier in the year, and she'd gone to molded cleats, and it was kind of slick for her. And so she... Um, she kind of fixed it, but I also think she kind of picked early. Um, you know, when you look at their offensive statistics, you know, um, maybe she was trying to pick a little bit too much instead of kind of go at them. And um, so it, it kind of spiraled from that point. So is that what she did, Carrie, when she went in the dugout? She, she changed, changed her, her spikes, yeah. She yeah, she changed her cleats. Yep, yeah, she did. Uh, you know, how happy with Jansen's uh, offense today? She's phenomenal. I mean, you're seeing one of the best players not in, just in the league, but she's one of the best players to me in the country. She made that, you know, she can make a diving sports center catch in center, but she's also a shortstop and a third baseman. That's phenomenal athlete, you know. And um, But what you see, Todd, was just right there what she said about losing not an option. 
You could tell she carried us. Her and Maris carried us for a while until the other kids started to believe, you know. And like I told them, it's, it's not just about getting here anymore because I do think we deserve to be here. But now it's about do we take the next step and start winning games here. And that's what we need to do. Your defense has been great all year. Mm -hmm. Just it just wasn't as good today. Did you feel we like didn't make a great throw early, and I got on Moss, and she threw a kid out that had thirty-seven, whatever, thirty-three stolen bases. So she stepped up. You know what I mean? Like the second part, the ball hit at Woody was just a sharp hit ball, and sometimes on that surface, which is a, um, it's a, a surface that allows people up north to play. It kind of skips every once in a while, so a hard hit ball might skip on you, and you saw that on Louisville's fielders. The ball would get on them fast and it was skipping on them. So, you know, that was probably a surface thing for Woody, but um, I thought we did, you know, fairly well. Your team's regrouped very well from games that, that you've mm -hmm. lost. You mm -hmm. notice how well you think they'll, they'll regroup tomorrow? Well, it's not an option. You go home, you know, if you don't. So, I mean, as as the leader of the club, you know, I told him I, I don't want to ma manage personalities. I don't want to manage poopy faces. I don't want to manage that stuff. We're, we're here, you know, so let's fight. And they're responsive. I mean, they're a good group. They don't, they don't do that. I mean, you get here and you want to perform so bad and you know that you're good and, and then you fail. And so, you know, it's a couple of kids trying to pick them up and get them a kick in the tail and say, let's go. And, you know, you, you get a personality like Jenny Jansen and then you can make things, you can make things happen. But our, our goal tomorrow is to win some ball games. Any more questions for Coach? Thanks, Coach. Thank you.